Earlier today, it was revealed that Mike McCarthy has signed to be the head coach of the Dallas Cowboys. And um, you got to wonder, are the Giants set on rule? Because if they actually were considering Mike McCarthy and they let it get away from them, that's a, that's a, that's a mark against them. Now, they're obviously going to spin it if they do sign rule that that's the guy that we wanted. And that's fine. That's all well and good. And maybe he's the guy for them. I thought it was personally should have been Mike McCarthy. Now, when you look at it, for the, for the Cowboys, that was the right move. They've got a lot of talent. Most people that you talk to in the NFL thought it was more or less a coaching issue rather than a talent issue. They've got, they've got talent on both sides of the ball. So now, why not bring in a guy who has coached a very good quarterback, a great quarterback, two great quarterbacks, that has won a Super Bowl, because Jerry Jones and his son Steven believe that this team is ready to roll. Now, are the Giants ready to roll? Next year, probably not. But do you want to turn it over to a coach that has one year as an assistant offensive line coach in the NFL? Because that's the way it looks. Don, to me, reading the tea leaves, it looks like they had no intention of signing Mike McCarthy. Somebody no. on Twitter said this earlier. It almost weeks of the Mets and Joe Girardi. They talked to him. They had no intention of signing him. They wanted to sign somebody young. They probably had Carlos Beltran on their mind. And maybe it works out great for the Mets. But who's the better manager in 2020? Joe Girardi is. Who's the better manager in 2020 for the Giants? To me, Mike McCarthy is. Not Rule. Yeah, but they must have just had their mind set on him all along. They did interview Mike McCarthy. They interviewed a lot of people. Um... But just because you interview him doesn't mean that you're going to hire him. I think it's a good idea. It's a good practice to interview. But it sounds like this is the guy they've wanted all along. He's 41 years old, New York guy, ties to the organization. And that's what kind of scares me. Going back to the conversation from last week, Michael, there's the unknown of the college coach making the jump to the NFL. And is this one of those giant hires? Where because he has ties to the organization, is this... The conventional pick. It's a safe pick because the well, overwhelming the majority of people are not going to criticize it because he seems to be the flavor of the month. He spent a year here with the Giants. He, he comes in highly touted by people that used to work for the organization like Tom Coughlin, like Chris Snee. Uh, but I just think there's a lot of unknown after you whiffed miserably the last two times you tried to bring in a coach. And, and can I also say something about Steve Tisch? So at the end of the year, he said he wants to be more involved. Right. He's not even at the interviews. Oh, are you kidding me? He'll follow up. Oh, well, if you want to be more involved, you have to sit through the interviews with everybody. That's not more involved. It's yeah, not more it's, involved. it's curious. It, it, it sounds to me like you wanted to get more involved and realized that the people that were making the decisions knew more than no, he did. No, I think it's he wanted to get more involved and said, you know what? I got other stuff where I make a lot of money in Hollywood. I, I well, don't have the don't time say, for this. But he knew that going in, Michael. Then why do you say you want to be more involved? It's, it's ridiculous. It, it looks so bad. You're not, even, you're not even in the middle of the... Well, he'll do any follow-up interviews. Okay, yeah, I'll play along. But in, in fairness to the people that are making the decisions, right... In comes Steve to say, I want to be more involved. Okay, but you haven't done the work. Right. So why am I going to listen to what you have to say if you haven't done the work? You haven't been here all year. You're out in Hollywood. Now, all of a sudden, because you talked to the to um, Bruce Beck about how you want to get more involved. Now, all right, so get more involved, but you're going to have to wait until uh, the next decision because you haven't been around. You haven't been studying these coaches. I'm sure that they've had... Listen, a lot of the people that they're looking at were probably guys that were hoping for jobs when they hired Shermer a couple of years ago. Right. But they interviewed Josh McDermott, the same people. I, I feel like people misunderstood what we were saying last week. I'm not saying he can't be a great coach. He could be a great coach. But there is a lot of unknown about it. And if you're telling me that this is the right hire because of the ties to the organization, then that sounds to me like it's a typical giant hire, which over the last couple of years really haven't worked out. The Giants going by their gut, doing the giant way. Is that the way you want things to be from now on? Uh, this is too important to hire. If you're coming after Tom Coughlin, all right, then maybe you can afford to make, to whiff. You've whiffed the last two times. Mm -hmm. Miserable. What the, the first guy didn't even make it through his second year. You fired him. And then, you, then the other guy basically made it through the second year only because you couldn't do it again, firing somebody in the middle of a season. So you can't afford to get this one wrong. And this complete disinterest in Mike McCarthy to me 
just sounds like they just had rule pigeonholed from the very beginning. I imagine that rules interviewing with other teams, too. I mean, maybe he says, you know, I want the Carolina job or I want the Browns job. Well, then you have egg on your face. Well, that would unless look terrible. They have, unless they have a secret agreement with him that he's the guy. They could. They, they, or they just know. But let, hey. us, let us talk to candidates. Let, let us pick their brains. Let us get a minority candidate so we adhere to the, the Rooney rule, all of that, and then it'll be you. Maybe that's what's going on. Now, right.